welcome back to level grinding it is my first day back at my work day uh, after my vacation and I kind of don't have a clue what I'm doing so the first thing to figure out with this puzzle is to start going back through my notebook, see what notes I made before I went away on vacation, to go back through my email and see who's been requesting things. I have a bunch of stuff stacked up there, so I've got a lot of work to do. Um, and yeah, just start the process of going through my day, going through just the notes and the stuff that I have stacked up. You know, I have notes on a whiteboard over there, I have notes in my email, I have notes in my notebooks, I've got notes on my desk. Um, this is all stuff that I need to now compile and figure out into what's this work week actually look like. Now I was supposed to have a job that was gonna to start today and into tomorrow, but that ended up canceling while I was away on vacation. Boo, but that's okay because it means that I have these two days to get my life straightened out before starting another project that I'm supposed to be starting on Wednesday. Um, and I gotta check in with that project because I don't have a deposit yet to secure the editing time. So I gotta go track that down. But yeah, let's get back into the hustle. It has actually been an extremely productive day. Um, I'm really, really happy with where things are at. Uh, one of the things that was wonderful was being able to get into my email, get into my notebooks, and figure out where the heck I actually am starting this week. And here's the really cool thing that I like to do when I leave my work and knowing that I'm going to be going on vacation. I leave myself detailed notes, okay? I leave notes all over my calendar. I leave notes all over to-do lists. Um, you guys have seen what my daily to-do lists tend to look like. Uh, let me pull up what today sort of has been. So you can see how I've got, you know, stuff written down both on the daily, but then I've got all of these notes on the side, sticky notes. These are the systems that I use to track what I'm doing. I also use another function of Trello. Trello is a um, online uh, tracking software. It's an online um, like to-do list and organization tool, and I really like Trello. And one of the things that I do is I keep what I call a dump list. A dump list is simply where I put all the things that I'm thinking about, all the things that I need to do, all the things that need to happen at some point in the near future. And it helps them get out of my head and avoid those open loops that I've talked about. I've talked about this a few other times. I'll, I'll put a link to um, open loops in the description box below. Um, but yeah, these are things that I use to help get tasks out of my brain and then put them somewhere so that they are saved for later. And so the thing that I like about using to, uh, notes in my to-do list and in Trello and things like that is that they give me the ability to talk to myself in the future. It's kind of like having, you know, uh, you know, you know the statements, if I could go back and tell my younger self something. Well, it's kind of like if I could go back and tell myself something a week ago about what I need to do today, then wouldn't that be great? And so that's why I keep a lot of notes around because that is the equivalent. It's my past self speaking to me 12 days later after my vacation and after my weekend. And so through that, I was able to quickly catalog what I needed to do. And I was able to put everything down on another to-do list, which I really like. Sometimes I don't put everything in my actual to-do list, especially if it's little stuff. Like, for example, um, one of the things that I needed to do was to transfer money to my mentor so I could pay for my next couple months of mentorship. Like, this is something that takes me five minutes to do, so it doesn't need to go in my big day to-do list. But it is something that I need to track off of here. And you can see all the little black check boxes. That makes me extremely happy. I love having little boxes checked off. And so one of the things that I'm doing right now is just taking care of all those little tasks and I have a lot of them done which means that I'm going to be able to go into tomorrow with a really clear runway which is great. Um, I'm supposed to have another project that's starting on Wednesday um, and so at this point I'm looking really good for that. Um, yeah it's been one of those things where you know I'm going into today going into Monday you know, Monday's a tough day if you don't know what, if you don't do what you like for a living. And thankfully, I do like what I do for a living, but this Monday is going into all the detail work, the, the nitty gritty, the part about being an entrepreneur that sometimes is frustrating because this is all the stuff that makes your business run. This is all the connections that you need to make your business run, but it doesn't look glamorous. It doesn't look cool. Um, you know, it's not actually doing the thing that I want to do for a living, like, i.e., the video editing. It's all the stuff that has to happen to allow me to do the video editing. And so, um, you know, going into a Monday where this is all that kind of tedious and monotonous stuff to do, it's not really something to look forward to, especially after you just had a vacation. Um, but I'm really thankful that I was able to leave those notes for myself because it means that I was able to pick this up and start knocking out some of these little, little tasks that have been, 
you know, pending that needed to be done, like stupid things, like right down to preparing the checks that I need to deposit because it just got paid. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really sitting really good at this uh, particular juncture. And so, you know, if there's one thing that I can recommend to you, if you are leaving, or even if it's the end of your day, like, and you have things that you know that you need to do tomorrow, take the time to write out the to-dos to make notes for yourself about why these things are important the day before, the week before. Um, I know at the end of the day or at the end of a time coming up to a vacation, you know, when it's time to get off of work, um, it's really tempting just to get off at work, but the more that you can do to prepare for the day after, for the day you come back, um, the easier it is, and so it's less stressful. Um, and this is something that I learned to do a long time ago. Um, when I worked at a nonprofit, I was a missionary, and so I used to have to go on fundraising trips to go visit all of my supporters, and that would mean that I'd have to leave work behind, and it wasn't even something I could bring with me at that point. So I would often schedule these trips in between busy seasons, and I had um, three times a year, four times a year, where I was in video production very intensely for 12 to 10 to 12 weeks, and then I would have this break, usually about four to six weeks long, and I would take my fundraising trips in those little four to six weeks and so that meant that I would have to leave a really busy season close it all out and then jump right back into something else when I got back and this was extremely stressful and so the only way that I was able to really uh, make it happen and get this stuff going um, in an easy way was to leave myself notes um, the other thing that I recommend if you're going to take a vacation is try very hard not to leave any projects pending. Um, it's okay to leave a project in progress, um, you know, making it to a particular milestone, but try and have that milestone reached. Try and have that project completed before you walk out of the door. And the reason for that is that you don't have to pick it up when you get back. Um, you don't have to feel like you left something on the hook, and you also don't have to worry about it while you're out. Um, this is why I try really hard to finish as many of my tasks in a day um, and to complete a task. Like, you know, if I'm working on a budget, like I am right now, trying to calculate all of the money that I spent on my trip to NAB in April, because apparently I haven't done that yet, um, you know, I want to make sure that I have this done so that even when Robo gets home, um, I'm going to still work on this until it's finished. That way I don't have to come back to this in the middle of tomorrow and try and figure out like where was I and all of these numbers, what was the next step that I wanted to do. Um, and so trying to complete a task all the way through um, or at least complete a project to a particular milestone is a heck of a lot easier to pick up later rather than something that's sitting in a whole lot of pieces. So I'm going to get back to this NAB track. Um, this is going to be the end of today's video and yay for a video that is a daily video. I'm sure you guys like this. Um, tomorrow I'm hoping to get out an actual like what happened on the last of my vacation what were some of the lessons that I learned um, what are some of the falls and the injuries and the tumbles that I took and what I've been learning from them as well and how I'm applying them to my business so if you have a handy dandy tip about how to get back into your workspace after being out on vacation leave it in the comments below I'm always looking for more hacks um, you know because as much as I have a system it doesn't mean it can't be improved so share those stories in those comments below if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you find this helpful share it with somebody else give them the knowledge of how to make it back to work after a vacation you know summer's coming we're all gonna be taking vacation so a lot of people might find this helpful so go ahead and click share and as always comment ask questions you guys are awesome I'm so glad and thankful that you guys have stuck with me through this really busy season um, that's also something else I'm gonna talk about this week is how I'm gonna be getting back on the 12 week year and what I have learned about applying the 12 week year in a busy season so all this and more this week I'm really looking forward to being back at the grind and you know being able to work at building my business and to be back at talking to you guys every day so we'll see how long this goes and i will see you all tomorrow ciao